Oxford Reading Tree Stage 5, Crab Island. Series graded by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter. The children were excited. They were going to spend a day on Crab Island. They had to get there by boat. Mr. Salt was going to take them. It will be a real adventure, said Chip. There's a cave on the island. It has a good beach so we can go bodyboarding, explained Biff. It will be a long day, said Dad, so there's a lot to take with us. At last, Dad and Mr. Salt had loaded all the things in a dinghy. Mom ran up with a big plastic tub. Don't forget the food, she said. They set off for Crab Island. A speedboat went past. Hold on, said Dad. Speedboats can make quite big waves. At last, they got to Crab Island. Dad pulled the dinghy onto the beach. I will be back at six o'clock, called Mr. Salt. Have fun. We must set up camp, said Dad. Bring all our stuff up here. I'll bring the food, said Chip. Chip gasped. The food was missing. The plastic tub had fallen off the dinghy. I'll call Mr. Salt, said Dad. Oh no, my phone has no signal. We're on this island with no food. They had bottles of drink, but all they had to eat was a bag of apples and one sweet each. I'm hungry, moaned Kipper. And it's not lunchtime yet. How about a swim? Suggested Dad. It's good for bodyboarding. Maybe later, said Biff. Dad took them on a beach hunt. Let's see what we can find, he said. Do we have to do this? Said Chip. We're so hungry. Look what's floating in the sea, said Dad. The box of food! Time for a swim! yelled Chip. They all raced into the water. They pulled a box out and looked inside. All the food was there. Hooray! Our food has floated in on the tide! yelled Chip. Biff bit into a sandwich. Mmm, she said. Seafood! The end. Oxford Reading Tree Stage 5, Crab Island.